Read and Wonder, Gentle Giant, Octopus, Karen Wallace, illustrated by Mike Bostock. These are more than 150 different kinds of octopuses. Wow. A gentle giant octopus jets through the shadows. She's huge like a spaceship. Her eyes glow in the water. Long tentacles fly like ribbons behind her. Silver backed fish scatter before her. A wandering mother octopus moves through the water. Inside her body she carries her eggs. She looks for a den that is safe and well hidden. For a crack in a rock face or a hole under a stone. When octopuses need to move quickly, they jet backward by sucking in seawater and pumping it out through a funnel like siphon. So he goes this way and then he squeezes all his muscle tentacles and goes. An octopus sinks like a huge rubber flower. The camel flop tails. Yes, you're right. Sand muddies the water as she lands on the seabed. See? These are all tentacles. Yeah. Um, Octopuses yeah. use their tentacles like fingers to sense things. They use the suckers on their tentacles to grip things. Octopus eyes turn front, frontward and backward. Her tentacles sense a crab in the water. A tentacle searches, it stretches and touches. Where's the crab? Do you see it? No. Maybe the next page. There it is. Unlucky octopus. Misses. Crab claws have sharp edges. <gasps> Look. They nip at the tentacles. The octopus pulls back and the crab scuttles sideways and escapes in the sand. So even he's smaller than the octopus, but he, he knows how to use his claws. His tail flies. Yeah. A mother giant octopus slides over the seabed. Her body stretches like taffy over the stones. Her skin ripples like seaweed. She's black as the sea kelp. The goggle-eyed octopus feels her way forward. Usually a giant octopus is reddish brown, but when it's hunting or hiding, it can change to become very dark or very pale within seconds. Our camel flock. That's kind of like um, the chameleon, huh? <gasps> Ew. But under a boulder, a wolf eel is waiting. His mottled gray face darts from the shadows. His teeth strike like daggers. <laughs> it scared me. I did. He rips off a tentacle. Ouch! Uh, then sinks like a nightmare deep into his den. Ew, that's a scary fish. Octopuses have eight tentacles. A healthy octopus can regrow its tentacle if they are damaged. He can regrow it. A frightened giant octopus squirts ink at the wolf field. Let's see. She shoots back from the boulder, back over the seabed. She's pumping and sucking the sea from her body. If an octopus is attacked, it will squirt out a cloud of inky liquid to hide its escape. A quivering giant octopus rests on a boulder. Underneath, is a cave that is easily guarded. That's an octopus cave. Mm -hmm. Octopuses are about as clever as cats, and like cats, they're very curious. She squeezes inside, she drags pebbles around her. See? Look, she put all those pebbles in there. Her search for a home is over at last. Now she's safe. Octopuses don't have any bones, and they can squeeze through the tiniest of holes. Wow, look at his eyes. A mother giant octopus lays eggs in her cave den. There they are. They hang from the roof like grapes on a string. 
She guards them from crabs and nibbling fishes. While her babies are growing, she never eats and never rests. A female giant octopus will lay as many as 60,000 tiny eggs. Look at them all. That's a lot, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, look at they're all starting. There's their eyes. After five months, her babies swim from their egg sacs. They squirm and they wiggle. They jet through the shadows. What's those? That's one coming out. They're sucking and pumping the seed from their bodies. They already know what to do. Lots of other animals like to eat baby octopuses, so only two or three out of every brood live to become adults. A mother giant octopus rests in her cave den. She watches her baby swim up through the water. A gentle giant octopus shrinks in the shadows. Her life is over as their lives begin. That one's getting bigger. Yeah. I think it's getting bigger. And Tree's Adventure Making New Friends can be purchased at Amazon. Please look below in the description. Thank you. My favorite part is when he pulls those roots right out of the ground. And then he takes off down the path to make new friends. And my favorite part is when the big bear chases him. And they have to run and run and run. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 my favorite part is, uh, uh, I forget, I don't, I liked it all, really, I love it. <laughs> my favorite part was when he looked like he was gonna throw up because he didn't know what he was, but he was kidding, ding, ding, ding. I think my favorite part was when he fell out of a water barrel and landed on him. Tummy, and uh, oh my goodness, they broke his arm. Oh, that that hurt. They gotta hurt. Oh, guys, that's gotta hurt. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I liked it when Al followed him everywhere he went. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Oh, dude. oh, my favorite part was when they, the fishermen, they jumped on the boat and up. Uh, yeah, they swam away. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, but I did not have a flamingo in the story. Yeah. Well, uh, I bigger boo. Still liked it. Yep. Subscribing is free. I wonder what's up next. Click on Tumsky to subscribe. Click on the next show you want to watch. Tap the bell to be notified of new shows. See you soon. Tree's Adventure Making New Friends can be purchased at Amazon. Please look below in the description. Thank you. My favorite part is when he pulls those roots right out of the ground. And then he takes off down the path to make new friends. And my favorite part is when the big bear chases him and they have to run and run and run. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 my favorite part is uh, uh, I forget. I don't, I liked it all really. I love it. <laughs> my favorite part was when he looked like he was going to throw up because he didn't know what he was. But he was kidding, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I think my favorite part was when he fell out of a water barrel and landed on his tummy. And uh, oh my goodness, they broke his arm. Oh, that, that hurt. They gotta hurt. Oh, guys, that's gotta hurt. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I liked it when Al followed him everywhere he went. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, my favorite part was when they, the fishermen, they jumped on the boat and up, yeah, they swam away. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, but no, they did not have a flamingo in the story. Yeah. Well, uh, 
I think about it. Still like it. Yep. Subscribing is free. I wonder what's up next. Click on Tumsky to subscribe. Click on the next show you want to watch. Tap the bell to be notified of new shows. See you soon.